Hi there, everybody. <clears throat> Today I want to talk a little bit about the final class project. Um, and the idea here is to take what you've learned in this class and both synthesize it, um, s articulate what is the most salient to you, and then think of a way it relates to you. Because the reality of how our brains work is that we're going to be more likely to remember things that we can relate to our own personal lives. And so that's why it's called My Economy. And the idea here is to go through and look at each chapter in the textbook and find the thing that speaks to you the most or you thought was the most uh, meaningful or the most important or the biggest idea, and then find a way to relate it to yourself. Think about how that main concept impacts your own personal life, your own personal economy. Um, and this is really something hopefully you've been doing throughout the semester, just because it's always going to be easier to understand and internalize these concepts if you can find a way to make it relatable, make it relate to you and your life. So the idea is you're going to put together some kind of slide deck or presentation that articulates the main idea from each chapter and what you learned about it, what you think is important about it, any kind of reflections on it, and then how it impacts you and impacts your life. Um, it could be a PowerPoint slide deck. That's probably the easiest way to do it. But if you want to use a different kind of slide deck software, that's fine. If you'd like to, rather than submitting the slide deck, you'd like to submit a video where you discuss it, that's fine. Um, a lot of people, and I actually feel really strongly about this, um, a lot of people believe that, you know, you shouldn't have too many words on a PowerPoint slide or any slide, just, you know, a few bullet points to outline the idea and then your speaking complements it. And so, if you want, you can record a video of you going through, kind of like how I do, the slides and talking about them. Um, if you want to, you're totally welcome to do that. Um, if you want to use other software, you're welcome to do that. Um, you're welcome to really make this your own. Um, there are pretty strict guidelines outlined in the assignment. Um, but the more you want to make it your own, the more you're going to be challenged to um, really meet the spirit of the project, which is to identify what's important in each chapter and how it relates to you. And that's totally fine. Here's a quick example of what you might want to do. So I've got a cover sheet here with the title of the project. It can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. You want to make sure you've got your name and some sort of identification, maybe the semester or the year or the class or something like that. And then there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. So here's something I put together about uh, the first chapter talking about the big idea, scarcity, and how it forces us to choose between wants and needs, how we encounter it in different elements of our lives, and what the point of scarcity is, right? That, you know, the fact that things are scarce is what makes them valuable and also forces us to maximize utility and profits and, and try to make the most of things. And, and then relating it to personal life about how the idea of scarcity is incorporated in your life. Um, another example here is from another student looking at uh, indifference curves and consumer choice, talking about the main ideas and then the personal impact. And this is all on one slide. Is it a lot of text on one slide? Yes, it is. It's a lot. And that's why the uh, assignment does ask you to use two slides. But if you think you can do this efficiently, that's an option. Um, and here's another example of a student looking at uh, chapter two and looking at global trade, talking about the important factors in that chapter and the production possibilities frontier, really a heck of a workhorse of a model, and then how that helps um, this person understand their life, how it helps this person understand their day and their work performance and, and the trade-offs between working and other factors. Um, so hopefully that gives you a sense of kind of what you can and, can, you know, what to expect and what you can do. Okay. Um, if you have any questions about it, you can always reach out to me, uh, shoot me a text or uh, sorry, shoot me an email or a Canvas message or make a comment on the discussion thread for homeworks and questions. Um, but a great, a good presentation is going to have a little bit from every chapter. It's going to have a slide for every chapter. It's going to have a slide for every life life impact. A very good presentation is going to be neat, orderly, um, and clear. Um, it's going to tend to be visually attractive. It's going to have some insight um, for a really good presentation, have some insight into the subjects. 
Um, and then you are going to want to make sure to have a title page or a cover sheet that has your name, um, maybe a title for the um, project and that kind of thing. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you go and look on Canvas, uh, the class project is going to be in that last um, module for the semester. It's going to be due the last Sunday of the semester. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'm open to being flexible with this project. I hope it's a little bit fun. Um, and I hope it really forces you and allows you to reflect on everything we've learned uh, this semester in this class in this time. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, look forward to seeing your work.